Here's a Premiere Pro CC 2022 update. If you wanna simplify the look of a sequence, just select your sequence in your project, go to sequence and then simplify sequence. And it's going to give you some options we'll go over in a second, but it's going to turn a sequence potentially something like this to something like this. A lot cleaner, a lot easier to edit, a lot easier to share with other people you're collaborating with. So let's walk through the whole process. So let's undo that just by control Z on my Mac. So typically as an editor, I'm adding all kinds of B-roll. I'm using different tracks. Sometimes I have clips on my sequence that are not enabled, B-roll that I'm not using anymore, different music tracks that I don't want to use and didn't like. I might have some empty tracks that just happen to be empty for some reason, or maybe a logo that I end up not using. I have markers on my sequence that I added when I was going through the basic interview, but I don't need any more. So to simplify the look of it, and basically what it's doing is getting rid of all kinds of things, I'll show you. If you go have this sequence selected, go to sequence again, simplify sequence, it gives you all of the options. You give it a name because it's going to make a copy of the sequence, which is great. And then it has different options. You can close vertical gaps on video tracks. So if there's clips on track two and then four, it's going to bring those tracks from four to track three. And then assuming you have a video clip on track one as well. So it kind of compresses everything along the timeline. And then it has options for either video or audio tracks or both. I've selected for this example to disable muted tracks, to get rid of disabled clips, to get rid of offline clips. So if I had f footage that I was using, but for some reason it's offline and I don't need it anymore. And there's other options. You can get rid of transitions if you want, graphics, empty tracks, all of these different options. And then you can also remove markers and you can select which color marker if you're using multiple markers. And so then you just click simplify as I did before. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. It has simplified this sequence from here to here. Pretty cool. And really the reason is you would do this is personally if you want to just sort of make it clearer, make it more simple. I know that's a dumb explanation, but to simplify your timeline. But more importantly, if you're working with other editors and you don't, or someone who's doing graphics or color, you don't want all your clips and things going, then it's a lot, this is a lot better to send than something like this. All right, check out my other tutorials for CC 2022 updates, but I hope you enjoyed this one.